Howdy folks. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to try the Skylink. Never use this myself. I'm going to give it a shot. I have one of these old garage door openers, Craftsman, that unless you can find an original clicker for it, the universals don't work. So today, watch me turn my old garage door opener into a modern garage door opener that works with a clicker. For starts on my garage door opener, I'm going to remove the cover to gain access. Remove all the mounting hardware and remove the old garage door opener. Allowing access to the wires on the back of the garage door opener. In your Skylink box, you're going to start by removing your Skylink. Inside your kit, you're going to get this new garage door opener. Now in my case, this is going to sit next to the old garage door opener. This is just going to work as my transmitter. So my new garage door opener will communicate the same wires as the old garage door opener. On this adapter, this is a clip that's going to go onto the red and white wire on the back of our old garage door opener. So I've stripped these back. That way you can see there's two wires in the loom. These are all twisted up, so you don't just want to clip it on there if they're all twisted. Open up the loom, get them to where they're easy to access. Run them side by side, best you can. Get them good and straight. And make sure they each sit in their own marks inside of this Skylink adapter. Simply crimp down on your adapter. In the kit, there's a tool to make this crimping process easier for those of you who can't get it to crimp. Following the crimping, you will see a flashing on your Skylink. This here is the antenna which you can stretch out once the job's installed. So next we'll just need to remount our garage door opener. On the side of the garage door opener there's a little little notch. Run the wires from your link out of that little notch. Re-secure your old garage door opener. Secure the screw. Install the cover on the old garage door opener. As you can see we have power to the old garage door opener. And we now have power to our Skylink. Skylink gives you multiple options. It comes with an adhesive pad that you can stick on the back, stick it to the wall, or you can mount it using two screws. I'm using half the amount needed just to only cover this top half in case in the future I need to access my model number, part number, or anything of that sort. Place your Skylink in a position that's good for you. On the side of your Skylink, there is a learn button. Press that learn button and it's going to start flashing. On your new remote, press and hold for a second to two seconds. And there, now we have a garage door opener that's working. Okay folks, we've been using our garage door opener for a while, both the clicker and the Skylink. Push button works fantastic. I can use this button or I can use this button. So far, the Skylink clicker, well, it's crap. Kinda works, kinda doesn't. Uh, if you move it around a lot, it's not gonna work. Battery, just, it just falls right out. So, if you walk with it in your pocket or anything, leave the house, it's not gonna work when you get back. Battery's crap. And that's got something to do with these tongs here on the inside there. If you go out and buy one of these, cause you're like, hey, I'm at Lowe's, I'm gonna get one of these, it's not gonna work. Also, if you got one in your car, it is not going to work with it, so don't bother using it. These clickers only, they're cool, but they suck. So, Skylink, I recommend it if you've got your sensor out in your garage door, or you just have no way of ever getting this clicker again. Use it for what it's worth. If you can just replace your garage door system, do it. You'll love yourself that much better. Again, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.